Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on modeling a stylish pillar, you can say a column in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So I'll be just taking a reference over here just to explain you how the pillar looks like. So I have a reference over here. So let's just open up a reference. We're not going to make the same, but uh, somewhat like this. So very first of all, let's take a plane over here. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, I'll go into this extended primitives and I'll just take a capsule over here. So let's just take a capsule. I'll just set the sides to six over here. I can slightly reduce its size if required and give one height segment convert to editable poly select the polygons and I'll just delete it after that I'll just go over here select this polygons and again I'll delete it from one side after that I'll select its border go to the edge subtract this now if you want to extrude the edge you can use shift and drag to extrude the edge so I'll just shift and drag to extrude this after that I'll go into the front view and I'll just scale it right from the top and I'll make it straighter select this I'll make it straight select this and this make it straight from the sides select this this press R scale it from the sides alright so once you're done after that what I I can do over here is like I'll go into this hierarchy effect pivot point and I'll shift the pivot point to the center of this object after that I can just click on this mirror copy it in Y axis I'll keep it over here in this way I'll just go over here and I'll attach it select the borders sorry select the edges select this edges over here select this and let's give bridge over here so now I don't need the segments I can press control and backspace to remove this edges over here once you're done I can just go into this press shift and make some copies over here so as many copies you need you can just make that many copies alright so once you're done I'll just select this and I'll attach this all over here so once you attach this select the vertices right click weld it and say ok weld so select and just weld all this vertices we need to weld this first let's just weld all of this
select and weld it So I'll just go up, just go on doing the same thing. If you want, you can make a customized menu also for this. Or we can say a kind of a shelf. So just keep on welding all this. Okay, great. So once you're done, now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll just go into its edges over here and I'll put some connects over here. Select the vertices and slightly just scale it right from the top so once you're done now what I can do over here is like I can give a modifier that's called a bend modifier go into this uh, set the direction even you can go in this way or I can even go the other way in this way so I'll just set this to minus 360 after that or if you go with this 360 it will go in this way that is also ok and you can also give one more modifier that's a normal modifier if you want to go with this way you can go with this so this is I think a perfect way so I'll go into the bend I'll just check out ok I think this is the way place so I'll just make it 360 and I'll convert to editable poly I'll select the vertices and I'll just weld it so weld this Make sure you're not selecting the backside vertices. Please take care of that. So if you accidentally select that, you just weld all of this. So once you are done with this, uh, you can see now I can go into this. I'll just slightly just shuffle this over here I'll select this polygon so what I'll do over here is like I'll just delete this half of this polygons over here I'll again uh, go to this top I'll select the border over here so I'll extrude it I can slightly extrude this So what I'm doing is like I'm just extruding all of this. So I'm pressing shift and I'm doing this extrusion. So I'm pressing shift and doing this all kind of extrusion stuff. Alright. So once you're done, you can slightly just push this up. 
and right click and cap so once you cap it you can easily close that select all these edges and I can slightly give a bit of chamfer to it and let's click OK let's click OK over here so you can just select this take a box so I'll go to the top view and just take a box over here I can slightly just put on top of it scale it so convert to editable poly select this polygons see there are many other ways to model this you can also use some loft options also so this is not the only way you can model but this is also you can use also this way you can model this so I'll again go into this and I'll just put some one swift loop over here and select the polygons and slightly extrude it by local normal can use some swift loop over here also so select the vertices and slightly you can scale it if required push it a bit inside push this a bit inside so push this inside from all the sides <coughs> so now just select this and let's just mirror it in y axis and let's attach it select this border and this border and just bridge it and control and backspace <coughs> so if you want some different variations that can also be done you can scale a bit So select this and slightly just shuffle this up and place it in this way. If you feel it's okay then I can go into this and I can give a turbo smooth modifier. So as you can see I have added a turbo smooth modifier over here. press shift and drag duplicate it that's it and that's your pillar ready so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here
सो प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो दैट्स हाउ योर पिलर इज और कॉलम इज रेडी सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस ट्यूटोरियल